So Felko Panovic left Reading. I mean, I'm unhappy, I'm glad, um, I'm excited, and Kia out. Now don't get me wrong, I really like Felko Panovic. I think he's a great manager, I think he's a great guy. I just don't think he makes the right decisions. I mean, the reasons why I say great manager, look at last season. I mean, people would always say that eight games, that's what got us to where we were in seventh place last season. But in my opinion, there's other wins throughout the year. There's other games that we've drawn and won and you know, played well in. It's not just about those eight games at the beginning. Yeah, sure, they help in the long run. There's, what, like 24 points in that? Still, you are got to look at the rest of the season. I have had my fair share of abuse laid on to him about how he made his substitution and stuff like that. Like, I don't understand some things that he's done. Like, the substitutions are always too late. Like, what, five minutes? Uh, and then goes into 90 minutes, maybe even 91, when he makes a substitution. I mean, one, I can't remember. I think we were losing... Um, and we brought a Clark, but literally with like seconds to go. I mean, what was the even point of that? I didn't even see him get ready or even take off his bib before that either. So it wasn't a case of like, oh, he couldn't put him on. He just chose to put him on so late. It's just ridiculous. I don't know what you're trying to get out of the game for that. You're hoping for a miracle, really. But I really do think we're going to miss out on someone like Panovic because it looks like he really did bring the team together. Like, you know, there was respect and stuff like that. And I pardon the rumours and stuff like that. Like, I don't follow rumours as the fact. So, the Panovic uh, handling his recognition, but then got rejected. So, I mean, I believe it to the guy I think he is. I think he wants the best for the club, and I think he would hand in a resignation like that. However, it's not being official. It hasn't been confirmed by him, nor either people around him. It's all just been gossip, so I'm not going to... Same with the players saying they want Fucker Panovic out. I mean, sure, I, so, I guess some players would like him out and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, for what I see and what... I've seen like Frank Panic hugging the players on the bus as he came out and stuff like that as he said goodbye to them. I mean, there is a sense of unity there. Perhaps it wasn't the best timing for it and perhaps it's not the right unity they need. Maybe it's a fresh person they need and which we have now is Paul Ince. My thoughts on him is um I don't understand. I really don't understand. I, I know hardly anything about this person. I looked briefly and he had a great playing career. Um but manager or he's only yeah, I mean, last time he managed was back in two thousand thirteen. I'm really not it's really not looking promising. I know it's not like a permanent person. Um, but for it to be an intermediate manager, it is looking a bit shady there. Like, I mean, how long is an intermediate manager really going to take if if that's the case? I mean, surely, I mean, we, we, apparently we've got Michael Gilks that uh, is coming through to, to be co-manager or something like that. Who knows? I mean, this club's a joke. I don't really understand what roles people have anymore. Um, but apparently he's going to be in the first team coaching. Um, so I would have rather him be actually first team manager rather than bringing someone random. I mean, it's not that random. We have a link there. Tom Ince is his son. I hope it's not going to be no favoritism in the um, picking teams. Jesus. But just to go back on Panovic, I do wish you the best, mate. And um, I liked you a lot. I really did. And if if I had it my way, I would have had you at the club a bit longer. Um, with more wins, of course. Like Obviously, it's the right decision to get rid of your mates. We need to change somewhere, and if we can't change the board, Kia or anything like that, well, we've got to change the manager. I mean, it's the easiest thing to do, and it's probably the cheapest in all the cards, really. My wish out of this is really to have Panovic stay at the club, maybe the DOF, our director of football, because we don't have one. Uh, and if we do, then, I mean, he's been holding the basement with a tape around his mouth because we haven't heard a word from anyone called a DOF this season. And same again, the same as always, Um, even, even Brian McDermott or someone like, God, I just need someone back in the club in that role. I mean, it's not just about the manager. I mean, it's, it's a passion of mine. It's not really the manager's fault to do all these all these things. I mean, they try different things. They try multiple things, stuff like that. And you can cut me all you want for that, but uh, it's not always manager's fault. It just isn't. It's the players. It's it's behind the board as well, you know. You can't just focus on one guy who's on a dugout telling people what to do. And if they don't do it, they don't do it. So how is it his fault if they don't do it? I don't understand that personally. But yeah, little rant over. Um, yeah, I would really love him to be stuck around the club in some kind of way. I mean, if he doesn't, then fair play, you know, but it would be nice. All right, so Paul Lintz, um, good luck on Tuesday. You're going to need it. Um, I mean, I don't know if we can hold up a momentum based on one win. Uh, I just got to hope and pray that we do get a win again and then the momentum goes from there, really, and we just we start working our way up the table, at least. Right. I would be happy, <laughs> well, definitely would be happy with one place higher than what we are. Um, but if we can get at least that and end the season there, I mean, that, that, I will feel comfortable. Um, but even like it is, just uh, teetering just above, I and mean, that's still my nerves in, to be honest. It makes me hair anxious, I can't deal with it. So hopefully, Paul Lintz, you can do that for me. And uh, many other fans probably relate to that. They just, they just want the best for the club. And hopefully, while you're here, it's interview manager, which, uh, to be honest, I do think is going to be for the rest of the season because, I mean, if we're going to look for someone, surely we should have had replacement ready by now. So, but yeah, um, hopefully, we get a win.
against Birmingham. And yeah, that's been my opinion about Penrith leaving and opponents joining. See you later.